Okay, I've decided on the composition. That's right, the composition for my next paint. Wait, Professor? How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh... Well, I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion, a frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now, if it's all the same to you. All right, time to sneak off and do some painting. Professor, such lovely weather today, huh? I was, uh, just about to go for a walk. What, this? No, it's a... Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I'll admit it. I was going to do some painting. You remember the place where we talked before? I've been painting the scenery there. I'm still keeping up with my academics and training, of course. I just paint in my spare time, as a change of pace. Oh, I don't? Uh, well, yes. Maybe you're right. I may have gotten ahead of myself. I'm sorry for panicking there. Honestly, I'm just worried that my father will find out that I've been painting. Of course. Why would you go out of your way to tell him that? Completely illogical of me. But it seems I've developed a bit of a complex about it. My father's not a fan of my artistic pastime, you see. We're a merchant family and my older brother is set to inherit the business. As for me, my father decided I should be a knight. That's why I'm at the academy. Painting won't help me become a knight. It's a waste of time. Well, yes. I feel like I'm betraying my parents. I hear the business has been slow for them over the past few years. If I become a knight for an influential noble house, I could use my connections to help support them. My father was determined to send me here. He must have been, considering the enormous amount of money he spent. I don't think I'm well suited to being a knight. My parents sent me to the academy for their sake, not my own. When I think about how hard my family is working just to stay in business, how can I sit idly by? All of which is just to say that painting will have to remain my little hobby. Nothing more. Not that I could make a career out of it even if I wanted to. That's just a fantasy. How incredible. What a striking color. Ah, Professor. Look at this stone. Such a brilliant blue. You don't normally find stones like this around here. I ought to grind it down. I wonder if it would still be the same color. To make pigment for my art. Good supplies don't come cheap. I prefer to make my own. Blue is especially expensive. How fortunate that I chanced upon this remarkable blueness. Oh, I'm sorry. There I go again, blathering on and on about painting. 
Oh, yes. But I know that I can get rather caught up in it and, uh, enthusiastic. You know, Professor, no matter how impassioned I become about my art, you never hold it against me. One could argue that I'm better off preparing for our next battle. I am becoming a knight. Oh, Professor, please don't say things like that. I gave up on my artistic dreams long ago. To support my family, I will be a knight. That's that. No. I know it's the right thing to do. I'll continue with my art as a hobby. I don't think I could ever give it up. When I see something beautiful, I can't suppress the urge to paint it. I don't have a choice. And if my art can bring happiness to even one person, that's good enough for me. Professor? I have a favor to ask. I'm painting a portrait right now. When it's finished, I'd like to give the piece to you. Would you take it? Perhaps it can bring you a little happiness. That will have made the effort well worth it. Oh, excellent! Is that a promise? Because I'm really going to put my heart in it. Uh, that is... I'm going to enjoy partaking in this casual hobby of mine. I don't believe it. The painting I gave you. It was meant for you and you alone. You weren't supposed to show it to anyone, but you hung it in the reception hall. Because of all that you've done, now everyone knows, including my father. He's heard so much praise that he and my brother want to see it. He even told me that I should be an artist. That I'm more likely to succeed as an artist than a knight. Yes. I've dreamed of being an artist for so long, I stopped believing it would actually happen. You know, for that painting, I thought of the most beautiful thing in the world. Well, yes, it was a portrait of Sothis, the goddess who descended from heaven to guide humanity. But when I was painting her, I couldn't stop thinking of you. You are the most beautiful thing in the world. And beyond that, okay, here goes nothing. I want you to please accept this. Please. Do you accept? I can't measure up to you. You're the hero of Fodlin, and I'm just a painter. But I can't lie to myself any longer. I can't live my whole life denying myself what makes me the happiest. You taught me that. You taught me to see myself. You taught me everything. You've always been so patient and attentive. You never made me feel small or denied my feelings. You soothed my troubled soul. You are my goddess. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. To love you for all eternity. I want to paint your beauty in portrait after portrait. I want to stay by your side for now and forever. Will you let me? What? Did you say what I think you said? You're accepting me as your partner? I asked you because I didn't want to live with the regret of not asking. I decided to be honest, expecting you to spurn me, and yet... You said yes. You said yes. You said... Ah, uh, right. Sorry. Whew. I almost fainted there. You're sure, though? Absolutely positive? Then I promise to do whatever it takes to be a respectable man, worthy of your partnership. With my paintings, I will bring the world happiness. The same happiness that I feel when I look at you, my beloved goddess. Sorry, was that too much? 
Maybe I should just leave it at this. I love you with all of my soul. <laughs>